Hey YouTube, my name is Lady O. Some people call me Miss Nita. Um, I wanted to do this long awaited video um, in reference to liposuction. I had my upper and lower abs done. I went to Sunnabello in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and my surgeon was Dr. Desiree Baladid Dolid, but they call her Dr. V. Um, the reason why I got liposuction was because um, I work um, at the airport and I had to get two surgeries. I got one in 2018 and I got one in 2019. I've always worked out. I've been working out since 1994, which is um, 24 years until 2017 when I injured my back at work. So I had a, a surgery in 2018, surgery in 2019. So I can't work out like I used to. Um, me and my girlfriend used to go to Stone Mountain three times a week when it was warm um, to get our workout on. I am part of the old lady crew, or some may call it the Almost 60 Club, but I've always was a health conscious person. I started eating right and exercising in 1994. Um, so because I'm a woman of a certain age and I went through menopause starting at the age of 46, um, now I'm 58 and that caused me to have that stubborn fat because I could not work out like I used to. So in 2020, I started looking at videos on YouTube and I was like, I don't really see much for my age group, but I came across a few people on Sun, um, that went to Sanabello. So I went and I had my upper and lower abs done. Let me show you. My upper and lower abs done, liposuction. Um, on March 20th, 2021. Um, I am 85% satisfied. But when I, the day I, that I had my surgery, my doc, doctor, Dr. V kept saying, um, because you have stretch marks, I'm scared that you're going to have loose skin. So I paid $5,000 to get my upper and lower abs done. And she was like, um, I said, nah, I don't want that nasty scar. Um, I don't, I don't want that scar. So she was like, but I'm afraid that you're going to have loose skin. And I said, it's okay. Let me just see how this worked first. Then she would leave out and come back in the room and was like, well, how about we just do, um, just take off the loose skin and no liposuction since you were talking about a financial situation. I said, nah, I'm going to stick with the, um, upper and lower app. So I did it on March 20th. Um. Uh, 2021 and the very next day my stomach was completely flat now before I did it I had this little pooch that was hanging out I had gained weight I had went up I always stayed around 135 140 no more than 145 so I went up to like um, 162 pounds because I couldn't work out and I couldn't really um um, exercise like I want. So then I said, you know what, let me do the keto diet. I did the keto diet and in 2018, I did it for five months and I lost 23 pounds. So I finally got back into my 140s. So then um, after I did the upper and lower abs, I was like, oh, I see what she's talking about. I see this extra skin, you know? And even though I'm 58, a lot of people would say, oh, girl, ain't nothing wrong with you. I wish I had that. But this is my side. This is my back. Side. And front. But, you know, I really do want to remove this excess skin. Um, the upper and lower abs cost me $5,000. Um, they, you can either pay in cash, do care credit. Or either, um, they told me about a company called Buy Financial. So I used Buy Financial and I paid for it. 
Like I said, I am 85% happy. I am 58 and a woman of a certain age. So I decided to go ahead and do the skin removal. So I have a pre-op appointment tomorrow, uh, which is uh, January 21st, 2022. Um, but my surgery date is February 5th. 2022. And I just want to let people know, or people my age, or, um, to let y'all know, guys, you got to eat right. You got to um, eat healthy. I haven't ate pork since I was 14. I stopped in 1978. I don't really eat beef a lot because it binds me up. But I'm not one of them people that's a lover of food. I like food. I like my certain dishes. I'm a seafood person. But I don't like all of, uh, I'm not a big sweet person, I'm more of a salt person, I'm a chip person. But food don't move me like it moves some people. And I understand that addiction is addiction, whether it's drugs, whether it's food, whether it's sweets, addiction is addiction. But I'm just one of them people, um, even if I like something, I know how to um, cut something cold turkey. But... I always tell people, think about your health. I don't like being um, sick. I'm not on any medication, no high blood pressure medication, no um, uh, uh, diabetes medication because I am very in tune with my health. I don't like being sick. I don't like catching colds. I don't like any of those things. So I just wanted to come on here and try to do some content um, that's geared toward uh, uh, people my age, which, again, I am 58. Um, so I just want to let you guys know tomorrow is my pre-op for my skin removal. Um, I'm, not a, I'm more of a shy person, so um, it's almost like a year before that I didn't even do this video. I kept saying I was going to do it. Then I was like, nah, I don't like talking on video because I sound like a man sometimes. I don't want people to think I'm a man. So a lot of times I'd be like, nah, I ain't going to do that. But I felt compelled to do it because I didn't find a lot of content with people my age. It's more for the younger folks that's doing the BBLs, the Instagram models and whatnot. But we still like to be sexy too. So... I'm going to try my best to do some videos at least once or twice a week. Y'all got to remember, I'm old. So sometimes I maybe may forget or sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I want to do all that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I will go for pre-op tomorrow for my ab skin removal. And I will keep you guys updated. Um, and I just wanted to also say that, guys, please get in tune with your health. It's all about your health. You know, it. Um, we are dying at a higher rate of everything. When you, when you hear them talk about it on the news, or blacks high in this, blacks die high in diabetes, blacks die high in um, uh, high blood pressure. Black die high in shooting. Black die high in, uh, in killing. You know, it's just constantly, um, we are the number one in everything. Um, and I know I, I sound, may sound redundant, but please, God, your health comes first. Do not let your, your health fall to the wayside because of some food. I don't like food like that. My friends always say, oh, so you eat to live. You don't live to eat. No, I don't live to eat. I don't like food like that. I don't I don't want to be sick. So I just wanted to come on and do this video, which took like 10 months to do. Um, and I just want to tell y'all, you guys, that I'm going to um, upload some more videos after my pre-op appointment tomorrow. And I wanted to also say that... Um, Always keep God first and stay focused on what you're trying to do in life. 
Um, if it's your health, if it's, a, if it's finances, if it's a job, if it's your own business, just um, stay focused and always keep God first. And I will keep you guys posted. Have a great day. Thank you.